Hi guys, welcome to my video, my training video on how the five reasons that people don't buy. Okay, so I'm going to go straight into it. First of all, I'm just going to give you a very brief introduction. Um, you clicked on the information that said five, that you need to be aware that there are only five reasons people don't buy. What I will say to you uh, in advance of telling you what they are is that there are simply only five reasons there are no more in the world if you think of any others you'll find that they fit something within these five reasons what we also know is that if we establish what these reasons are and we can then eliminate them one by one during our call during our conversation with the client our call over the phone our face-to-face -face chat um, we know that we're taking those clients on a journey that simply focused on our end desire, our end desire as closers, as salespeople, sales managers, is to obtain the business. So we need to be taking them on a structured route using these five reasons to be left with only one end result. The logical conclusion to a sales presentation that's been put together in a structured and coherent way is a deal. So let's find out what the five reasons are and then in a later video I'm going to break down each reason and I'm going to explain to you how to use those within your um, conversations. I'm not going to say presentation, I'm not going to say pitch, those are words of the past and they are uh, in the year 2017 they most certainly should be left in the past. Today, we have structured, coherent conversations. So, when I say a structured, coherent conversation, I've gone a bit off track, but I need you to understand that this is all relative to the five reasons. Structured, coherent conversations are simple. Ask a question. Respond the client answers. Respond to the answer ask another question relative to that response. In the old days, we used to call it agree, answer, close. So you'd ask the client a question, they answer, or they raise an objection. You agree with the objection, you answer the, the objection, you close it, then you ask another question relative to it. But that's another story. We're going on to that one in a future video. Five reasons, don't want to bore you because I know you're waiting to find out what they are. So, number one, simple. No need. If they don't need it, they're most certainly not going to buy it. However, it's unlikely that you're going to be talking to clients that don't need what you're offering because they're going to have made an inquiry with you at some stage. So, it could be for health insurance, life insurance or whatever. Um, could be in a physical product industry such as driveways or house you know uh, to do with stuff uh, to improve home improvements industry it could be absolutely anything these rules apply to every single industry and they're completely transferable to any market so once you understand what these tools are you simply have all the tools in your bag to close any deal in any market now that's exciting number one no need Number two, no desire. You may well be thinking, well, aren't they the same? And I used to think something similar a long, long time ago until I learned need and desire are two different things. We can need things and not want them. We can want things and not need them. And there are lots and lots of examples of that. I can give you a very quick one. Um, let's give you a, a need over desire. I have never ever had a conversation with anyone in my life that said to me, do you know what Paul, I can't wait to go to the filling station and fill my car up with fuel. We all know we need the fuel in order to drive the car. Another need example, how many drill bits are sold in the UK every day? Just ordinary bog standard drill bits, how many are sold? My guess is tens of thousands, every single day. How many people want to buy a drill bit? The answer is none. What those people want is a hole. 
in order to get the hull, they need to drive the, buy the drill bit. So again, it's a need purchase, not a desire. Spinning that on its head, no desire, really simple. Um, if they don't desire it, they won't buy it. However, we all buy desire products every single day. We don't need 50 inch high definition televisions. We don't need uh, the latest iPhone gadget. We don't need all the um, technical stuff that, 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 that we're bombarded with every single day that we love. We buy those because they're desire purchases. We can still make a phone call on an old box phone. We can get away with watching a TV program or a film on a much smaller screen. Um, we desire those products that so we buy them. So need and desire, two different things. Again, I'm gonna break them down more carefully in a future video. But I actually call this, this particular part here, I call the why. In other words, the reason why people are making their buying decisions. So, you'll notice on the wall next to me here, I have the why explained. So basically what we do with the why is we, we work out what the product, what the client's looking for, why they're looking to do it. We talk to them, we find the hotspot, we revisit the hotspot and we help them and we build the excitement in the call. But again, when I say call, that's because it's um, obviously over the phone. We, do, we can do that face to face, we can do that with any 